Former President George W. Bush, who led the national response to 9-11 when he was in office, led a tribute at his presidential library in Dallas today. And flight crews for American Airlines who were killed were among those honored at a ceremony in Grapevine. Fox 4's Rebecca Butcher reports. Communities across North Texas honored the lives lost during the September 11th terror attacks. Former President George W. Bush and former First Lady Laura Bush paid tribute at Mr. Bush's presidential library and museum in Dallas. The former president led a moment of silence. Tough day for a lot of people. So when we have a moment of silence to pray for those who lost a loved one and to thank those who rescued uh, many who got trapped. A twisted steel beam from one of the Trade Center buildings is displayed at the center and encircled by the names of the victims. It's just <laughs> such an important day and it's a powerful day and I feel like a lot of times it gets lost in just the busyness of life. Visitor Susan Overman explained why she chose this day to come to the Bush Center. Life has continued and there are babies who never knew their father or their mother and there are families who are fundamentally different because of what happened and in that moment I just prayed for those people. Father, we lift up today those who are the survivors of the towers. Grapevine hosted its annual remembrance ceremony at the 9-11 flight crew memorial that honors the 33 airline crew members killed in the terror attacks. Two of the hijacked flights were American Airlines. This is the day where flight attendants we're among the first responders of that day, relaying critical information from the cabin of the hijacked airplanes to those who were on the ground, and we'll never forget their bravery or heroism. Grapevine's fire chief reminded us the tragedy was a unifying moment. Do you remember the hurt, the disbelief, the fear, the tragedy? I know I certainly do, but I also remember seeing the red, white, and blue. It was everywhere. American flags were proudly displayed and neighbors checked on each other. The flag was lowered to half staff and there were moments of silence and remembrance of each plane hitting the Twin Towers. The message to never forget. Rebecca Butcher, Fox 4 News.